Oops, we've bumped into our first fitting. So let's stop and cover fittings now. This series of six quick tech snacks is designed to remove that nagging fear that you're missing some important detail about what's involved in building a custom loop. Fittings can be the most overwhelming part of liquid cooling. If you look at any water cooling parts supplier website, the fitting section expands into endless categories, which make choosing fittings look way more complicated than it actually is. We can put fittings into two main boxes, which will make it way easier to understand what you need and to scope in on what you want. One group is tube fittings. You only ever need one type of tube fitting for your entire custom loop. Which type you need depends on what type of tubing you choose for your build. I'll come back to tubing choices, but it's really that simple. One end of a tube fitting connects to a tube. The other end will have a G-quarter thread. Everything you might want to connect tubes to will have G-quarter thread ports. So you can connect any tube fitting to anything. Your tube fittings are the only thing in your custom loop which will connect directly to your tubing. So you simply need one for each point where a tube will connect to something. Every other kind of fitting you will see is essentially a way to make your G-quarter ports longer, bendier, wigglier, invisible, or more useful, such as in the case of a valve or thermometer. There are a couple of exceptions to this rule, like 90 degree bends with tube fittings built in, but these details are just a matter of economy and style. You can get as creative as you like, but at the end of the day, your fittings just have one job. Connect your chosen type of tube to a G-quarter port. Next episode, tubing and pump.